So why I switch from React to Vue? I'm moving everything to Laravel plus Vue a moon repository using inertia.js and this means i fully got rid of all the jargons of react.js and now enjoying the flavor of vue.js but the real question is why i'm switching from react to vue.js and this i'm doing apart from the truth that react is super popular backed by facebook loved by many people having amazing community and having an amazing framework called next.js why what is the reason i'm going to tell you the reason in this video and you need to watch till the end of this video and if you agree or disagree with my decision comment below whether you like react or vue or whether my decision is right or wrong according to you comment below and now let's start the video so hello and welcome to bitfumes i'm your host sarthak and this video is all about why i switched from react to vue.js this is a tough decision i must say because the first time when i started writing react for my website at that time i was very new to react and i thought that let's use react to build my website and in this process i'm going to grab my skill over react and you know the funny part when i first created the bitfilms website it was using nuxt.js nuxt the framework of vue.js so i traveled from vue.js to react to next.js and now once again to the vue.js the decision of moving from react to vue was not just because i like vue.js and it is simple it's also based on many facts and logical decision when i was making my mind whether should i continue using next.js or should i switch to vue.js i have considered many facts for myself it may be not valid for you but it was really helpful for me so let me disclose each and every reason why i switched from react to vue okay so the first reason is jsx <laughs> i know you agree with this no one like jsx but because of the popularity of react because the amazing community behind the react people consider it like okay we can use it we can work on jsx but as a solo developer for a project it is not fun it is not fun to use use the map inside of your html it's not fun to use two line or multiple line of if and else and just single line statement it's not at all fun to have the functions written everything inside of your html i really hate it but because of the love of next.js because how amazing the next.js is i thought that let's complete it let's use it so if you are using map in react and if you go to view you don't need to use map it's very clear v4 and with the v4 whatever tag you use for the v4 it will be replicated how many times you have the array it's so amazing it's so clean and anyone can read it properly against the map in the jsx i don't understand why react has not yet created something better for this they say that it's a developer friendly framework but i don't feel like that comparing to vue.js now the second reason is absolutely important for me so see as a solo developer i had to replace everything with vue.js that means migrating all the front end code from react to vue.js and you know i tried little snippet that means i tried moving one component from react to vue it was really a breeze you know what happened i had like 15 20 line of code in my jsx for react js when i moved to vue js it was just cut down to 10 why 
because it doesn't have any map it doesn't have any inline ifs it doesn't have that kind of structure which i had on the react and i copied everything to view component created the template moved map to view v4 moved statements to v if v else and the magic part was the input field on change and the value so in the react you need to use the on change function and value from your state in view js you just need one attribute which is v model once you use the v model it has a two way binding with a single line and that is really powerful so if you think that you will going to have hurdles while migrating react code to view you are wrong it's really really easy to migrate from react to view js next important reason is the state management you know it's really hard to manage the state in react in next js also it's like you need to use the redux or you can use the context reduce lot of code you have to write just for state management but the react lovers will say that hey why don't you use different libraries i would love to but if i get all the things in the view js why should i use external libraries which may not be trustable consider view js if you have ever seen how easy to create the states in view using vuex or finia you will be amazed against the react redux and other forms of state management apart from the state management libraries redux is not the part of react yes it's a powerful thing but created by someone else it's not created by the react team considering vuex finia these are created by view team and this means everything using the view and the pinia and the vuex is tightly coupled and super easy to set up and use and that's why if you ever faced any difficulty using or handling the states in react i would prefer just give it a shot to pinia using the view js and view 3 makes things really really simple like you love in react js i really like the custom hooks we can create in react js and i have created tons of custom hooks when i was using next js but you know what with view 3 you can do the same thing you can create the custom hooks although we don't call it hooks but performance is same exactly you use the mindset in react you can use the same thing with view 3 and you know i have many more small small reasons why i moved to view js from react but i don't want to waste your time telling you each and every small reason but you got the point why i moved from react to view as a solo developer but what is your view whether i did right or wrong what your preference is when you create a new project whether you start with view or react what do you think which will go far in the future so tell me everything in the comment section and how you like this kind of video because if you say that these kind of videos are helpful to you i will create more videos of this kind so if you love this video just give it a thumbs up like this video share with your friends who really love react and see what is their reaction when i say that hey i moved from react to view and before going forward i'm going to tell you one thing but even before that if you have not yet subscribed go and subscribe to this bitfilm youtube channel so the last thing i just want to say that i'm not saying react is bad i'm not saying view is amazing there are many things where view lacks and there are many things where react lacks and the decision of using any framework whether it's react or view totally depend upon the type of person you are the type of project you are working and how many people are involved in that project for me i'm the only person so if i use react 
React, Vue, Angular, Svelte, or just JavaScript. It totally doesn't matter to any other person. It's just my decision. Make your decision based on different factor and don't just follow or don't blindly follow anyone, not just me. Don't blindly follow anyone to make your decision. Take the action after considering the scenarios. So don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and we will meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye.